Hey everybody, the Bonga's back. Welcome to part 3 of Let's Play Crash Bandicoot, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Okay, right now we're on the second island, there's three islands in all. So we're gonna do Up the Creek. Why? Why not? Okay, this is just another one of those creek levels. Not much difference between this one and the first one, other than the layout. It's really the same kind of gimmicks. They didn't add too much to it. The only difference is, at least you can get 100% on this one without any colored gems. Of course, you still gotta be careful. Unless you wanna fall in the drink a bit too prematurely. Huh, there we go. Okay, I'm gonna wait for that to come back. Okay, nice. Yay, another extra life. Huh, I only got 48. I don't think I'm gonna make it. Trust me, you do not want to hit that monkey while it's rolling. Otherwise, he'll just knock you into the water. And that's no good. Okay, so far so good. Haven't had any issues. Usually I save data at the checkpoints. And if I die at the same spot several times, I'll just put a save there. I'll try not to abuse it. But it may not be necessary at this rate. Okay, now I gotta go back, because something triggered back there. Remember, you have to wait for this to pop back up. There's actually an extra life down there under the bridge, but I'm not gonna bother with it. Instead, I'm just gonna pop back up. There, those barrels can be tricky if you don't know to go back. That timing I do not like. Okay, there's a second Tana token. Mm. Now it decides to leave. Oh, go for it. Now. close. There we go. Bonus stage. Bonus stage. I was gonna say bonus time, then I wound up saying put the two together. Like bonus stage and bonus time. Bonus stame. That's lame of me, but who cares? If you guys care, you're a bit too anal. Enough said. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, more one-ups. I could really use some. I only got like a fifty-three. That's gonna be nowhere near enough to finish the game. <laughs> Duh. At this rate, things are going really well. Alright, let's continue. Huh, 54 lives! I might have a chance after all. Okay, I see the exit. The thing I don't trust is that timing. What the hell, let's go for it. And that's all! Down the exit. And perfect. Ta -da -da! <laughs> that was only like 1% extra. Whatevs. 
Ah, Ripperoo, the second boss. Trust me, there's no straight jacket tight enough for this guy. I mean, look at him! He's a kangaroo that lost his mind. I don't know if that's a play on the guy Jack the Ripper, but I digress. The only way you can attack him is with those big TNT barrel boxes that are, well, big TNT. So that's on the box. And usually he changes his pattern based on what hit he's taken. Right now, it's just going to be this very small T. And... no. You gotta time it very accordingly. Okay, now he's going to go in a diamond formation. Another easy pattern. But get him. And I didn't. Get him, get him! Damn it. How about now? Oh, that was perfect. Like, there were some parts of the arena that he never stepped on once. Oh, the Lost City. Let's go. Okay, this one you can get 100% on, but it's also very tricky. Let me make this jump. Okay, now I gotta jump around. Trust me, this level can be a big pain in the ass. Those lizards you cannot spin into. You have to, like, jump on them. So keep an eye out for any hidden boxes. Oh great, bats are in this game too. The only way you can destroy them for good is you take out the bats that are hanging on the ceiling. Like there was one over there, but I gotta take out the one on the right too. Once I do, the bats do not come back. Be sure to jump on that box, because there was actually a hidden exclamation point metal box right over there. Checkpoint! There, otherwise I would not be able to get to this box. Ah, our first Brio token. Now, Nitrous Brio has his own bonus stages too. The only difference is you cannot save in them. The only thing you can do is, well, just get some more Wumpa Fruit or some 1-Ups. That's all you can do. That's all his bonus stages are good for. Ooh, that was close. I did not want to get pushed into the water. Okay, I'm gonna wait for those bats again. Okay, there we go. I hate bats, that's why I killed that one. Checkpoint. And my first death. Okay, I'm just gonna time myself a little bit better next time. Remember, I put those save states in the checkpoints because, like I said before, probably in part one, if you die, even if you get every single box on the way, you still don't get 100%. Those boxes actually come back. And therefore, you practically have no chance of going back most of the time, thus you would have to do the whole stage over and finish without a single death. Whoa, crap. I mean, we went all this time and I only died recently. I consider that a pretty good streak. I mean, I'm sure some people never died even once. Either I congratulate them, or I have to apologize to their parents. Okay, bread lizards are a pain. You just gotta wait for them to stop jumping, and then attack. There, thanks to that metal box, I can get over here. And that's the final Brio token.
And that did not go too well. Not only that, I lost my Aku token. So there goes my free hit. Okay, watch out over here on these bridges, because they're weights. Yeah. Uh-oh. Okay, you're out of my way. You bats are not. In fact, you are in my way. And thus must pay the price. With your life! Uh-oh. Oh, that was close. Could have easily screwed that one up. And speaking of screwed up, the patterns here can be quite messy. Okay, now I'll go. Okay, this one is very simple. It's very consistent. Okay, I'm gonna wait for him to get in the middle. Otherwise, I would not be able to get that box. Bats and lizards, they always find a way, good way to go together. I don't know why. Ooh, that was close. Okay, good bonus stage. Better than Brio's, that's for sure. But that's just me on a bias. That is whack. Yeah, I might want to leave those boxes alone. It's a bit too risky. If you haven't been keeping score. Huh, 31% complete already. Eh, yeah, I'll save. Why? Usually I should not save in the bonus stages, and if it's a stage I can get 100% on, then save. But if I got save states, it doesn't matter. Just in case I lose track. Hm, you can jump pretty high, Mr. Lizard. I am impressed. Not! There, get those boxes out of the way. And get some more Wumpa Fruit. Hope they're not super high in sugar, because I hate diabetes. Anyways, that level is complete. Thank God. Ooh, a green gem. In other words, I can put that to good use. I did recall a level that I needed a green gem. It was all the way back at the first island. So why don't we go take care of that now? I don't know why, but even when I'm not recording, the game tends to get pretty choppy on the map screen. It's always been like that. Ah, Jungle Rollers, that's what it was. I think I got time for one more level, and then I'll just continue from there. Hey. Yeah, that's better. What have we got? Can't believe I'm back here again. But it's gotta be done. If I want to 100% this game. Legit or not, I'm gonna do it. Okay, normally if you get the bonus stage before, you will not be able to get it again in other runs. Like, it's just a one-shot effort. But that's okay. It's not like the bonus stages are that important. I mean, the only bonus stages that are really important are the Cortex ones. And in those stages, you can get a key that unlocks a hidden level. There's only two of those in the game, mind you. It'd just be nice to get them. There, that's what I needed the green gem for. 
to get up here. Sixty-nine! Yeah, it's gonna be sixty times with those skunks and I didn't spin in time. That's great. Okay, let's do this. Perfect. Timing. Get away for you. Yeah, why am I talking to a roller like it's a person? I mean, it doesn't even have a gender. And that's it! I finished the level again! Only this time I was able to get those other three boxes. And as a result, that's gem number six. I think now I'll save. I seem to be having a pretty good run so far. No complaints there. I think now will be a good time to stop, so stay tuned for the next part. See everyone.